Good morning. I know that some of you really like online church. And for you, sitting around the house on Sunday morning with uh, your PJs on and your coffee is really kind of a luxury at this particular point. For some of you, that's personality. For some of you, that's theology. But there are some people who are really missing church. The regularity of being together, the opportunity to see other people, the rhythm that comes from getting ready, going to church, and so forth. We like, many of us, being in church with our people. It sort of feels like we're in exile when we're not with our people in our place. Well, I want to remind you of something from the text this past Sunday that I didn't make much commentary on, but I hope you saw it. The last two verses of Acts say this, He lived there, that's Paul, two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Now, you know what that means? It means that the Apostle Paul did not go to church for two years. Previous to that, he was a prisoner, shipwrecked, and in journey from Caesarea. If you remember, the two years that he was in Caesarea, he was also locked up. This means that Paul did not go to church for almost five years. And yet, it says that he continued proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching concerning the Lord Jesus Christ without hindrance. Now, you must find that fascinating. I do. That even when we're limited from being with our people in our place, we can meditate on and proclaim the kingdom of God we can think about the Lord Jesus Christ. And even though we may feel hindered, when we're truly doing the work of God, we are unhindered because the Word of God is not bound. So I know we're under a temporary situation here, and some of you are struggling with this. Just remember Paul. God willing, we won't be without church for five years. But Paul was without meeting with his people that long a time. And yet he flourished in his relationship with Jesus Christ. Let's do the same. I'll see you tomorrow.